Okay, we start out with our thread here. I'm going to lay a little base right where we're going to put the fly lip. So this is the, the fly lips that we're going to use here. And what I want to do with this one is I'm going to push put this actually on the bottom. So I'm just going to flip that up. And it has a little groove that it go, just goes right over on top of the shank of the hook. And I'm going to wrap that on there. And then for good measure, I'm going to come back here with some super glue and just lay down. So I'm going to work that its way down into the thread and hit the plastic there against the hook. And then we'll just go back over that again. Okay, and once we have that on, we're going to put the barbell eye. And I want that just right there before the eye of the hook. Some figure eight wraps. That's another reason I put the super glue on this side is that will also help to secure the uh, barbell eyes. Okay, now, what I want to do is I want to build up a head, an epoxy head on this. Now, normally if you were going to do this with regular epoxy, um, it could get a little messy because it's going to, uh, you know, you have to dry it or it has to set and all that. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, clear cure goo, and this is the the tack-free stuff that will dry and cure tack-free. And so what I'm going to do is just going to push this onto the head and kind of rotate it as I get it on there. And what I'll do is I'll have my light, the UV cure light, right here as I go so that I can zap it when I need to. And the reason I do this now as opposed to when I have all the materials on is because I can build up a nice head without uh, binding any of the materials in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, and once we have the head shape on there, and sometimes you need to let it settle a little bit, but that's pretty good shape. And the nice thing about this clear cure goo, goo is that I will nail this with the light, and it's pretty much cured instantly. Okay, now we've got our head cured. I'm going to work my way back to the bend of the hook and we'll tie in our tail. And for the tail, I'm just going to use this cross cut, or sorry, this uh, zonker cut barred rabbit strips. It's the fire orange color. And we'll get enough about uh, body length. I'm actually going to tie this in and have some of it overlap up into the body. Again, I'm just I want to build up a base here of the body and build up some more bulk. So that's going to be our tail. And then right at that point, I'm going to tie in two different materials. Okay, first off, I'm going to tie in some uh, cross-cut rabbit strips, and this is just crawfish fish color and again you want about a body's length worth and then the other thing that we're going to tie in here is some hackle flash and this is the Cascade Crest Tools Mylar Hackle this is a the black color and I'm going to use this for two purposes I'm going to use it to rib against the cross cut and I'm also going to use it to kind of build up a collar at the front so I'll tie this piece in first Then I'll follow that up with my cross cut again, making sure the fibers are heading south towards the back of the fly here. And work our way up. And it's important just to tease these fibers back as I go. And this will go all the way up to just before our head, like so. 
Now for the last little piece here, I'm going to take my hackle flash and just kind of work that up into the rabbit strip. And you kind of have to tease the fibers as you go so you don't mat everything down. And then once we're at that tie-in point, I'm just going to give this several wraps right over each other. Preen that back. Tie it off. Just clean up some of the fibers here, and we'll whip finish. The whip finish here is a little more difficult because you got to work around that lip. Let me do a couple of those. And we're done. So this is more of an attractor fly, of course, but it's got some nice flash to it, it's got some weight, and the way we've got done the, the uh, barbell eye on top and then the lip gives it that action to pull it down, it's going to zig and zag pretty good here. So, it's a good uh, searching pattern. Give it a try.